AP up here. Welcome to Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Tech Sergeant Gene Taylor. On Tuesday afternoon, a coalition unmanned aerial vehicle went down in western Paktika province. According to a coalition spokesman, the drone aircraft crashed as a result of aircraft problems 60 miles inside the Afghanistan border. Coalition forces immediately recovered the aircraft. News of the downed UAV coincided with Pakistani reports that a suspected pilotless drone had crashed in northwestern Pakistan. Well, it weighs in at 2,000 pounds, and it can be dropped within a few feet of an often unsuspecting enemy from miles away. Marine Corporal Robert Durham shows us how a three-man team prepares one of the coalition's largest munitions for action. One of the premier aircraft in Afghanistan is the F-15 Strike Eagle multi-role fighter. Protecting ground troops throughout the theater, it has to be ready and stay ready for anything. These three airmen are responsible for keeping this $100 million fighter lethal. Today, they are prepping the Strike Eagle's pylons for a 2,000-pound Joint Direct Attack Munition Bomb, or JDAM, one of the most feared weapons in the U.S. arsenal. First, the aircraft has to be prepped to receive this massive weapon. If the pilot gets in any trouble at any time during the flight, and he needs to lose a bunch of weight, he'll hit these and it'll drop this whole pylon on Basically, the, the bomb that we're loading is a, uh, a GPS-guided munition, so before it's launched from the rack, the, um, the coordinates will be sent through this cable into the bomb itself. So when the bomb's dropped, it knows where it's going. And now we're ready for the bomb. These three cannot be expected to lift a 2,000-pound weapon. That's where the jammer comes in. As you drive the J-1, as you can see, I'm lining up my uh, shot. Line up the bomb directly to the center of our pylon slash brew rack. You have to do it kind of slowly, just for safety, just so it'll fit nice and easy. Once the bomb is in place, it has to be secured. Then it's the crew chief's job to double check everything. You go through behind my two hand, pull slow, make sure everything's hooked up right. Make sure my carpetators are in, bomb's locked. Call the bomb good. Once the final check is complete, that's one more aircraft ready to fly in the war against terrorism. Reporting from Bagram Airfield. I'm Marine Corporal Robert Durham. Construction is a big part of the reconstruction mission in Afghanistan, and most of the work is being done by local contractors. But as Marine Sergeant Jeremy Ross shows us, U.S. military builders are still involved. They're just building more with words than they are with bricks. Even though Lieutenant Douglas Thacker is an engineer by trade, he hasn't done a whole lot of building here in southern Afghanistan. Well, at least not with his hands. But without him, projects like this Afghan National Army garrison wouldn't be going up. The main thing is to work with the contractors to execute the contracts that Task Force Phoenix has uh, set up. It's the primary duty. The other thing is to also to act as a mentor with the contractors so that they can do a, a greater, higher quality of work that they have. The projects he supervises range from FOB improvements and expansion to accommodations for future troops here in the south. To accomplish this, Lieutenant Thacker travels from FOB to FOB around the province. The labor for all this construction comes from locals, meaning he works with different contractors in every location. If they're the unsung heroes of this war, actually, is because they have to face the dangers of uh, coming to a site where this isn't their home. They stay sometimes in unsecure areas. But the impact that they're making is that they're, they're building the facilities that will house the uh, forces that will make this country secure. So while Lieutenant Thacker isn't building structures with his hands, they're still being erected, thanks to his people skills. Marine Sergeant Jeremy Ross, Delaram, Afghanistan. That's all the time we have for this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. You can find stories from today and previous editions of our show on the Internet. Point your browser at pentagonchannel.mil. I'm Tech Sergeant Gene Taylor. From all of us here at Bagram Airfield, thanks for watching and have a great day.